All right, part two of distance on a cordon plane. You probably don't have the ability to write this down, so really just concentrate. And remember, you can always replay me if you get lost or confused or you need to rewatch it. Yay. All right, so let's see. How are the coordinates the same for, oh, we got to do this for A and B. Well, how are A and B the same? Hmm, what do you guys notice that's same between A and B? I'm trying to scroll where we can see their coordinates and their actual spot. What is same between A and B? Do you see it? They're on the same vertical line, right? So they share, they share an X. A and B are both on a four means on the x-axis they both are over four and that places them on the same vertical line. That's really important as you move forward in math. So if they share an x, those two points exist on the, a shared vertical line. Okay, how far away are they from the y-axis? Okay, well this one is three and this one is three. What? But one is up, positive three, and one is down, negative three. Okay, we already decided they were four away from the X, uh, blah, 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 blah. Here's what I want to know. How far away is A from B? Because they're on the same vertical line or they share an X coordinate, that's a lot easier than when you're in eighth grade. You're welcome. Right? So if they share, this is, this is going to get complicated, so take a deep breath. If they share an X coordinate and you look at their Y coordinates, and their y coordinates are in different quadrants, meaning that one's positive and one's negative. You combine those numbers to find out how far a is from b. So it would be six. Okay. If they existed in the same quadrant, so let's say b was bumped up to here, you would subtract them. Uh, it'll just take a lot of experience to remember that, but I'm just kind of laying that seed right now. If they exist on the same vertical line, they have the same X coordinate. If they're in different quadrants, then you take their Y coordinate and combine them. You actually add, wait for it, the absolute values. Ooh, you'd add the absolute values together because the absolute value of this one is three and the absolute value of this one is three, then three plus three is six, and they should be six apart. If they existed in the same quadrant, then you subtract those y values. And that'll tell you how far, how long the distance is between those points, okay? It's getting complicated, right? Let's see, point F has the same coordinates as point C. All right, here's C. Ooh, except its y coordinate has the opposite sign, so we get to plot F, all right, all right. So this one is over three, down negative five. So if I have to find the opposite y coordinate, opposite of negative five, five. So I need to go up five. Boom. <laughs> yeah. And label its coordinates. I'm not going to do that because of time, but you obviously know you can go to the alphabet tool, co them in. Right, and we'd be over a positive three, up a positive five. And you'll notice they exist on the same vertical line because they still share the X coordinate. We only changed the Y. How far away are F and C from the X axis? Five. What is the distance between them? Ah, now remember, we just talked about they're in different quadrants, so we would combine their Ys or find the absolute values and add them. 10. Negative five's absolute value is five. Five's absolute value is five. Five plus five. 10. So they would be 10 apart. Ooh, that's fun. All right, G has the same coordinates as point E, except its X coordinate is in the opposite sign. Oh, fun. G, where's G? Oh, I haven't found it. It's E. Okay, so E, and then we need opposite X. Its X is negative 5, so we would go over here to positive 5. Okay, and we would have a positive five, positive three. How far between those? 10 again, because now they're on a horizontal line, so they share a Y coordinate and to find their distances. Awesome. All right, good luck on your homework. It'll be linked. You did great.